Welcome to the channel. This is your boy Trini for Vlog Tripping, and we're gonna do our first, our channel first tutorial, how to, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna design a thumbnail for your YouTube video, all right? And definitely, I wanna shout out to Kim Slice Vlog. I'm gonna drop her link in here. This is her channel. Um, she does a lot of different things about hair, about um, cosmetology. You know, she, she has a very nice channel. Check it out. She definitely was the brainchild for this idea. She said, hey, why don't you do a video on how to create a thumbnail? She always gave me compliments on my thumbnail, so I appreciate her for that. Um, thumbnails are something that I either I hire out or I do it myself or I do a hybrid where someone will start it for me and then I will take it from there. And then we will kind of like work on it together or they'll make something, I'll edit it. But either or, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, you're gonna have to delve into this a little bit. All right, you're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to get to learn this. If if it's not Canva, it's something else. Canva is just a really good design, and if you're really good at it, you can probably flip it. You know, here's a, you know, here's a gem. You could probably flip it and sell this as a service somewhere else, like maybe on Fiverr or something like that, where you can now be a YouTube thumbnail designer because people like myself will pay for it because we don't have the time to always make a thumbnail, all right? So basically, this is the main page. Uh, I'm gonna skip a lot of technicalities. I'm not a web designer. I don't have any background in um, graphic designs. You know, I do have a little history in marketing, so I kind of have an idea what I'm looking for. All right, first place, the easiest thing you wanna do is go to create design. And create design um, suggested is YouTube thumbnail. Obviously, I do that a lot, but you probably want to type it in if you don't see it. And basically, it's it's a template for you to start off at, and that's what gives Canva its power. It gives you what you need to begin. So at one point, I don't know if you guys remember this, I had um, a play of play of the week. Well, yeah, it was a play of the week. This is what that thumbnail was was based out of, and how I made it. I probably throw it up somewhere so you guys can A-B it, but I built that from this, all right? So basically, you can already choose already pre-made um, templates, and you could click on it, and you could delete it, and you could, uh, I think I deleted the font, let's undo. Oh yeah, Command-Z is your friend. You can undo a lot of stuff, so I wanted to edit this, uh, this where it says gaming. And basically, you can edit it Right, you can change that around. You can move it, and it's, it's very touch and go. There's not really much tutorial that you need, but you can mess mess around with this, play it around. You know, you want to change because it's gonna have default stuff. Like there's a website here, you want to change those things. You can move this this girl around. You can put this in the background if you go to layer. So you go to layer, you can bring it backwards. Did it bring it backwards? Bring it. Backward again. There you go. So now, this young lady, she's in front of it, and the words are behind it. Right. So this is all pre. You know, this is all pre-done for you for you to edit, and it also has a color scheme. If you look over here, this is a color scheme. So if you want to add more stuff, this is like the suggested colors you should use to go with it. So boom, I just made that. I probably make her a little smaller. So you can mess around with any of these, any of these templates, and you could, you know, make your own thing. And you just have to go to share, you go to download, and you just export it, and you're done, right? But obviously, that was just messing around. But if you're really that good, you can probably make it that quick. It depends on how, how intricate you want to get with it, you know. So this is another design so forth right but we're gonna do like an original design um a lot of times i'm seeing repetitive when you could actually look at other people's channels you could tell what template that they used and i think that's a little whack but sometimes i use it but for this situation i am not going to use it all right we are going to make something all original so the first thing you need to do is kind of have an idea in your mind um the video that you're working on right so the video i'm working on it's uh yeah it's actually this one right so it's a desert safari video and this is a thumbnail that youtube is telling me i should use which is not a bad 
thumb, it's, it's not a bad thumbnail. It's auto generated, right? But can I follow it through? This allows me to. It, it does. So basically, what you want to do is you want to forward through your video. What I like to do is take a screenshot from the actual video itself and then work on that as a thumbnail, right? So I have to go to my actual video file. So my videos are here, right? So this is my video, and I'm going to try to take the music off. And basically, what you want to do is, I'm using a Mac. If you got a PC, you could kind of follow along. But what you want to do is hit pause. And you want to, oh, you want to hit spacebar, my bad. You want to hit spacebar to preview the video. Right? And you want to hit pause after that. Now, I could fully open it, and maybe I should do that. All right, fully open it. And then you can then scan through where you want to take your screenshot at. Right, so I want to take my screenshot. Let's say I want to take my screenshot here. See, that's why that's why you do a preview. So you hit space one, do preview. That's why you hit preview, mute. And there's probably a better way to do this, but this is the way I do it. So I want to take this screenshot. I love this shot. The video is about dune bashing and dune bashing. This is a great picture of it. So what I would do is Command Shift Four if you have a Mac or whatever it is to screen capture, and just capture this. Boom, capture that, right? And there's a there's a thing in thumbnails that they want you to use. Now I'll say a thing, but it's like a common theme to use your 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 face, right? They want to see the face of the person actually doing the thumbnail or doing the video. So we're gonna combine this with the other um, background that I had, right? So I took some other screenshots, but I'm just showing you this is kind of like how it begins, right? And you could do this from anywhere. Now, what I'm when I'm screenshotting, I'm also avoiding this screen down here. I'm avoiding this over here. You know, I'm not taking a picture of the whole screen. I'm just taking a picture of the video screen. So just keep that in mind, right? And uh, I'm going to now shift back into my web browser to go back into Canva. So where are we? All right, so we're over here in Canva, right? And actually, I could close these windows because I don't want to confuse you guys. After you do that, you want to go to Uploads. Now, you're going to see a lot of the stuff that I uploaded previously. And I am going to upload the screenshots. These are all the screenshots that I uploaded. So I'm going to hit Open. And it's going to pull all these things up. It's going to take a while to load. And I believe, I'm not sure if this is a premium feature or not, but like I said, I pay for Canva, right? And basically, this is all the screenshots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to design because uh, how do I get a blank screen? Well, nevertheless, if you don't have a blank screen, you could just delete all this stuff. Um, I believe if I start off blank, like when I first jumped in, but I don't want to go back to that. So you can just delete, delete, all that stuff. And now these are all my uploads here. These are all the screenshots. These two, you guys actually see me took, right? I have an upload of the flag in Dubai because I kind of want to put the Dubai, <laughs> the Dubai flag somewhere in, not the Dubai, the UAE flag. But the video is about Dubai. So usually people tend, you know, you kind of like follow the trend on YouTube that's very successful, which is people try to put the flag. If you don't want to put the country's name, you might know what flag, or you might be curious to know what flag that is. So for my background, I want to use this. So you just click on it, right? This is a picture for the Doom Bash. You just click on it, and you set it as the background. Boom. Now, this is a picture of me, but I want to get just me and the bike out of it, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to hit edit image over here and I'm going to do background remover. Let's see what it's going to do. So it's, it's kind of AI generated and it took out the bike too. Mm, I kind of want the bike in there. So now I'm going to undo command Z and put the bike back in there. And then I'm going to see how can I, let's see, how do I do it? without doing the 
Oh, erase the thing. Da, 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 da. That's the Magic Studio. Edit, edit, edit. Let's see. That was the auto adjust. Ah, transparency. Nope, that's not it. Let me see. I did. When I clicked on background move, I hit the, uh, I guess it's like cross faders over here. And then you can edit it, right? So I can show the original picture. And then I can slowly use the erase restore button. And I can change I can change the brush size. So I'm gonna use the big brush size up front because I want to do like the big stuff first. So I want this back. Uh, no, that's erase. Restore. So restore like why well, it's not alright, cool. So I want this back. I want that back. And like I said, there's probably a more effective way to do all this stuff, but you know, to each its own. That, 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 I want that back. I want that stuff back. And it's probably, you know what? This is one way to do it. But I'm probably not gonna be happy with this one. I could say, I could say right now. I might do some I might do another trick you can you can do. Alright, so that's it. It's completely back. And basically I just go back. And there it is, right? So that's kind of the idea that I have in my head for the screenshot. But I don't like that I still have the old stuff over here. So. All right, guys. So this is kind of like where we're at. Um, so this is pretty good, but it's kind of imperfect, right? Because you see this little brown area around it. It's not perfectly done, right? So Canva has something better for that. So basically it's called magic grab and we're going to actually let's see if we might undo this reset the tool let's see yep we're going to undo everything and we'll go to magic grab and see what magic grab does it kind of you can highlight what you want so i want me and i want the bike and we hit grab and it gets to do its thing and there used to be an easier way, a different way to do this, but I guess with all these AI improvements, they're always changing stuff. So this way, you always gotta be willing to change. So there it is. So now when I move it, they move together, and it's totally the bike by itself. And then we can delete this. So you can just click on the background. So something I might need to explain. There is layers to everything. Uh, let's see if I can get to that part. So this is a position. So there's layers. So right now we have this, which is this layer over here, and I can select it. Then we have the background that that came in, which is this, I can select it. And behind that is the one that I want to use for the thumbnail, right? So we can move this over or under based on who it is, um, based on the way that you want to so, you know, put it together. So we want to delete this. I don't want this anymore. So you click on it, hit delete, and it's gone. And now I get what I want, which is me, the bike, and the uh, the background of the, the, basically the dune bashing, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of zoom this up, put this over here to the left, and then slide me over here. Well, maybe that's not good. Let's see if I could do a little different. Maybe I could go, all right, put that over here. There you go, and put me this way, right? Um, then from here, I like my image. I like the color there. I like that's what I was going for. I am going to change edit image, and I'm going to adjust the brightness, make it a little brighter. The contrast is kind of okay. The highlights, and basically, I just play with each one of these, kind of like when you mix in music. You just play, and you find the one that you like. But be careful because you are going to change the the quality of it. So I think I want to reset. I think I want to reset the highlights. I think I want to put it back on zero. And let's see. Contrast back on zero. Yeah. So I think I'm going to leave that on zero. The whites, that's fine. Let's see the blacks. Shout out to the whites and the blacks. <laughs> and... Um, the vibrant sometimes I just touch it up a little bit. 
because when I'm actually there, like the color of the sand is not exactly what the video picks up, but it's very close. And saturation is going to give it a little bit deeper. So we want a little bit on the saturation, right? So I think, can I make this a little bit bigger? So you could zoom out with this. And I'm zooming out because I want to put that in the corner more and more space for, for my head. <laughs> right? And then, so what, what's a good thing, right? So I have this and I'm going to save this. So you save it by just giving it a name up here. So there's a box here. You click. And I'm gonna put. I'm gonna name this as Doom Bastion One, um, because I'm probably gonna change this a lot. So Doom Bastion One. Hit Enter. Save it. Click off. It's saved. I'm gonna save this. Right. I'm gonna save this, and I like it. But I'm gonna see if Canva has something else for me. So. What we could do, we could either add a page, let's add a page, right? And then I'm going to command copy this, boom, right? And it puts it exactly the same place. So you click on it, command C, copy, paste it on the page. And I'm, I do that because I want to try to see, because I have other Doom Bash and stuff. So I click here. These are all my uploads. These are all the, the pictures and stuff I upload. And you can upload as much images as you want. And I'm going to see how this is going to look. So I'm going to set this to the background. And this actually looks, this actually might look a little nicer. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Mm, it's a little pixelated. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. And what you can do, you can click. And you can just hit replace background. And then you put me over here. Mm, not as good. Um, also, if you go to elements, you can also find other, other things. So you can look up Dubai and basically Canva will give you all these photos that you can use, um, something like this. And you just click on it and you just replace the background. And now I can do something like that. Right. Um, may want to make my head a little smaller. Uh, let's see. What else we got? But I'm going to see if they have Dune bashing because they may have it. So let's see what they come up with. They do have Dune bashing. So, wow. Look at this. I could do something like that. And that's pretty much the car I was in. I could do something like this. So there's, there's options better than the picture I had, which is great. Yeah, there's a lot, lots of options, lots of options. Um, is there any see all button? This might be it. So let's see. Yeah. So look, look at this. So I got better backgrounds than I, than I have. And now I get something weird. I guess they, they're out of doom bashing. Right. So I might, I don't really like that one. I might go with something like this. Right, because it's it's very reminiscent to what to what I experienced. So I can choose between this one and that one. It's almost the same, almost the same vehicle. Um, and we could decide which one we want to use. I think this one looks this one this picture is really crisp. Um, but some people like to use real images. Um, you know, it depends on how it is, right? So then also what you can do on the elements is you can type in let's type in doing bashing again. Let's get it up there. There's also um, there's also videos. So you can actually have videos of doing bashing, but I guess this is if you're making more like, you know, closing the screen, some type of the video material, but we're not doing that. But I'm showing you because you can do videos if you look over here and you can get graphics. Well, it's not. Whoa, <laughs> that's not much good graphics we could use. Let's see if they got shapes. They don't got shapes. Uh, let's do desert. Right. So we could do like desert stuff. But I want to do a bashing video a vi picture in the background. So there goes that. So, yeah, let's see what else. Um. Also, there is something. Hmm. I might not want to overpopulate the video. I mean, the photo. But anyway, I'm showing you. This is what 
you can do. You can mix match it. So I got two choices I have that I could go with. Um, I guess you guys will see which one I use. Okay. So graphics wise, oh yeah, there's some desert graphics. Let me see if I, there's a dune bashing. So there's pictures, there's graphics. There's, see, it shows me crazy stuff. So there's, there isn't any. Um, but you can also type in Dubai and you can get like Dubai stuff. Like that flag I was looking for. So I could do something like this. Boom. Thumbnail complete. Right? I don't know if I want to do that yet. Um, could do something like this. That looks kind of corny. But you can basically choose any of these things to help to help make it like you know. You 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 can choose any of those stuff. Um You know, like, I don't know, you could, you could put a flag on it somewhere. I might, I might, and this is also in the premium edition. So you see where you see the little crowns? Those are the pro editions. I paid the extra so I could get extra, you know? Um, so you can put, you can have all these different choices of stuff. So, huh, this, that actually looks pretty cool. I don't know if I want to do that though. I think this is something religious and I don't want to mess with the religion stuff too much. But um, that's that looks pretty cool. Let's see what else they got. So maybe I could type in Dubai flag. Let's see. And yeah, those are my options. Let's delete that. Let's try something like this. Eh, a little too much going on. Um, oh, there's that lady again. So yeah, you can do, you can choose, and you could also import, I also imported my flag, so you can also do that as well, which I kind of wasted time doing that. I usually like, I usually like these flags. So yeah, that's, hey, that's it. That's pretty much it. What I might want to do, um, let's see if we do a proper text. So I can do a text, and this is where, this is where it gets crazy. Uh, let's see. I can do right, and let's change. Let's highlight this. Let's make it. But where's the color? You can change the color to white. You can make it huge. And what some people do is, let's see if we let's see if we let's see if we could do this. Um, I think it's Doom Bashing with a G. Why'd you get? Ah, now I gotta change it. I want it to go straight across. All right, cool. Let's see if I can edit the image in the back with the magic grab and grab the truck. Let's see if we can grab it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And, um,. All right, boom. That's exactly that's exactly what I wanted. So now I can put the words doom bashing behind the truck. And that's exactly what I was going for. So doom bashing. Then I can move. I can go to the layers. Where's the layers? Where's the layers? Well, I can just right click and layer, bring forward, and boom. I'm done. That's it. That's what we're going with right there. So let's see, you can make it a little bigger. I want to play with the font a little bit. And I want to play with the font. I probably, I might just leave it like that. Yeah, let me see. Uh, let's see, let's see. Nope, don't like that font. Horizon is my favorite font. Let me see if I can. Nah, I'm gonna go back to Canva font and I'm gonna just bold it. Yeah. And I might make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, that's that's it. That's that's what I like right there. That's exactly what I wanted. And basically, you hit share. 
And um, yeah, it's already saved under Doom Bashing. And I could have done the same thing over here too. Let me see. Uh, copy. Let's see if I can paste it. Paste. Um, we can do the the magic grab thing, which I think is amazing. Grab a truck, grab it, and maybe not. See, now I got an idea. I'm about to, I was about to wrap the video up, but I got an, I got an idea what I could do. And let me see if I could if I could bring it to reality. So now I got the truck. Now it's so I can make the truck bigger. I could make the truck bigger. <laughs> so the truck is bigger. Uh, we can then. I mean, it doesn't look as nice, but we can then bring me forward. Layer up, bring forward, and there you go. And then I can do this too. I can uh, let's zoom out some more. I can make this more sandy. Done. And then I got more space to put the truck. So the truck is over here. Move the truck up. Something, some, some. You get the idea. Something like that. So I got two options. This one looks better. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna see if I get a lot of um clicks and 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 attention off of it. And yeah, after that, you go to download, and you just hit export, and you and you're good to go. Um, yeah, I think this video is long enough. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Shout out to Kim's Life's Vlog. And I hope you found this educational. Hope you're able to make your own thumbnails. And, you know, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And, you know, check out the next video. All right. Peace.